Hey guys and welcome and welcome back to my channel. Exciting video today on a foundation that has broken the internet. No, it is not on Pat McGrath. All right, look, I ordered when Pat's foundation launched and they still haven't shipped my order yet. So that's why you guys haven't seen the video. Okay, I get asked on every video that I've posted since the launch if I'm doing a video on it. Yes, I am doing a video on it. I just don't have the product yet to actually do the video. But this is on another foundation that has also broken the internet. There's like what four or five right now that people are talking about it is the new Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation so if you want to see the interesting journey I've had with it so far then just stay tuned I did not keep 500 something about it was just off to me maybe it was too cool i don't know but i went back and exchanged it for 510 which is the shade that i was originally going to take but anyway i went back i exchanged it for 510 so this is the anastasia luminous foundation this retails for 38 dollars for one fluid ounce and it comes in 50 shades i'm still not even really sure if 510 is my shade but i guess we're gonna find out today okay let's see what it says about this foundation Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation is a water-resistant liquid foundation that creates a luminous natural finish. The radiant formula delivers long-wearing medium coverage yet still feels weightless and looks ultra fresh. This is the coverage you've been waiting for. Luminous Foundation looks so great on its own. There's no need to set with a powder. Oh, well, I, I bought the powder, so, but uh. Available in 50 completely natural shades, this lightweight foundation blurs any imperfection, including discoloration and unevenness without caking or masking the skin's natural radiance. With a seamless application, this easy to blend face makeup leaves the skin with a perfect looking complexion that is free of flashback or oxidation. So let's a brush roll okay so i'm gonna go ahead and prime my face this is the fenty it's not pro matte because that's the original one this is the true matte pro filter mattifying primer the, the the newest one that just came out even though they're coming out with a hydrating one which knowing myself i will most likely purchase as well the first one i couldn't do because it broke me out i do believe it kept me matte throughout the day but it broke me out so we weren't playing with it but i've been using this one i haven't broken out and it does keep my face matte and keep in mind so this will be the third time that i'm trying the Anastasia foundation because I tried it the first day when I picked it up at the store. Um, I tried it yesterday when I exchanged it for the new shade and now I'm trying it on camera for you guys. So I already have, you know, my thoughts on this foundation, but I've been using it with this Fenty primer. So that's what I'm going to do in this video as well. Oh, and this is what the packaging looks like. I've seen a lot of people saying the packaging is terrible. It's literally just a glass bottle with a pump there i'm pretty sure they're saying it's it's terrible because of this it's got foundation written across it very very bold very loud um seeing how norvina described why it is it's for like makeup artists when they're going through their kits so that they can easily see it labeled that it's foundation i'm not i'm not part of that you know professional makeup artist world maybe it makes sense for them but that's that's not that deep enough for me to be saying that the packaging is, is terrible. If anything, you would say like the design is terrible, but that, anyway. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and start putting it on. You guys know I do one side of my face, just the foundation, see how it holds up. So I'm gonna do that first since it says that you don't need to set it. Let's, let's see how 510 is working out. Oh, okay, well, we don't have to see how 510 dries up there um if anything i thought i was 5 30 when norvina posted what the shades look like but then again that's that's what i always do i just look for the darkest neutral shade that any foundation line comes with and then work from there and i'm pretty sure that was like the only darker shade that was supposed to have a neutral undertone but they didn't have that in the store for me to be able to tell Okay, so that is one side of my face with foundation on. This is the side that we're just gonna leave foundation. You know, I mean, it did say you don't have to set it anyway. And I kind of used all of the, the one pump on this side of my face. But I can tell you guys right now, this it's a very lightweight foundation. You certainly don't feel it on your face throughout the day. Oh, and it has a really nice finish on the face. I mean, it's supposed to be skin-like and it, it is, y'all. I forgot to do my concealer first on the other side, but this is what both, this is what my face looks like when both sides have foundation on them. 
And then I'm going to go ahead and, you know, pretty much do like a full face on the other side. All right, and then for the other side, I'm going to use the new Anastasia Loose Setting Powder. This is in the shade Banana. This retails for... $36 and they say Anastasia Beverly Hills loose setting powder perfects brightens and sets makeup in place with ease this lightweight super fine powder formula goes on smoothly as it absorbs oil minimizes shine and leaves you with a flawless matte finish available in four natural tone shades and one universal translucent sh powder shade this silky formula gives the complexion a seamless soft focus effect blurs the look of imperfection and extends the wear of your makeup Ulta only had three shades so the translucent um, the one before this one and then this banana one. Funny thing is years ago, I did not like banana powders, but then again, years ago, banana powders were straight up like yellow. Um, you know, recently I feel like companies have been making their banana powders a little bit more, you know, like beigey banana, if that makes sense. I said on Twitter that this thing reminds me of a hockey puck because look how, look how big it is compared to other, to other powders. This is, this is Too Faced. Uh, do I have Anastasia? Or not Anastasia, Laura. This is how big it is compared to Laura Mercier's powder. It's, it's a big powder, but I'm gonna go ahead and let that sit on my face for a minute. Okay, and that is it for my face. So this side is set, it's got foundation, concealer, powder, all of that, and this side is just foundation. I, I don't know about this side, y'all. I don't know how it's gonna hold up throughout the day, but I guess we're about to find out. I will check in a little bit later, and then I will see you guys back here tonight. My phone reminded me that I am not showing you what time it is. It is, let me get these notifications out of the way. Really? It is 11.07, so I will see you guys later. Okay, so it is 3.25, and this is what my face is looking like. Again, this is the side that is not set, just foundation. And this is the side that's got, you know, foundation, all the works there. You know, getting oily in my T-zone area, that's expected, but for a side of my face that's just foundation with a luminous foundation. All right, we're gonna let it rock a little bit more, you know, come back later in my studio lighting and wrap this up, but you know, okay. I'm still looking at this color match. Okay, so I am back, it is now 7.23 and this is what my face is looking like. So it's been like, what, almost eight hours-ish, somewhere around there. Now for the side that is not set, it's just foundation. I mean, come on, you knew. You knew once you heard that it was a luminous foundation and if you have oily skin and you heard it doesn't have to be set, you, you knew my face was gonna look like this, you knew. But with that being said, that side of my face is not horrible there. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm showing oil on both sides of my face, even the one that is set with powder, but neither side is horrible horrible for it to be a luminous foundation for me to have oily skin and for it to be the, the heat that it is right now in New York all right I would say going through all that and this being what my face looks like you know hours later we they might have done some things where oily skin can still use this foundation I would say it's a it's pretty you know medium coverage foundation I think that's what it claims um, to be a medium coverage foundation. You can build this up if you want to. This is one of those foundations where I don't know if you would want to because she looks really nice on the skin. That's the thing about, you know, luminous, hydrating, dewy-ish type foundations. They typically look really nice on the skin. And this looks really, this looks really nice on the skin. It has a really nice skin skin like natural type finish i'm not sure if you would want to build this up but you could if you wanted to um but even with the medium covers that i've got going on right now you know i feel like you know once you put your other products on you should be good to go um like i said it's a natural finish um oil control uh, this is my third day wearing this i've worn it with the same primer each time which is the matte one from fenty um Oil control, I would say, for the type of foundation that this is, for someone who has oily skin and for the 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 temperature that it is right now in New York, the only reason I'm able to keep filming right now is because the AC is on, all right? If it, if it wasn't, I'm pretty sure with this heat and all these lights, I would have passed out by now. So I would say for oil control, I would probably give this like a, like a six, seven if you have oily skin and how this foundation will last up on your face. You know, if I were to blot right now, I'm pretty sure this would be giving us like, you know, glow from within. 
type of glow and not you know like girl did you just go to the gym type of glow speaking of that i do have tissue paper here because um i noticed this throughout the day while i was you know going about my business like leaning on things and stuff like that this foundation that's probably like the worst thing i would have to say about this foundation if i had to say like one like really big con about this foundation is that she she got quite a bit of transfer there uh let me go ahead and pat my face down that's that's what she's looking like after i do that but see i do that and which you know a lot of people block throughout the day anyway i do that and that side of my face doesn't look that that crazy anymore so <laughs> i mean <laughs> for oil control like i said i'd give her like a six seven e there um as far as long wearing yeah it's got that transfer to it but other than that you know it doesn't separate throughout the day i don't it's not like it's moving throughout the day um you know as far as you know self setting i don't know about that but you know like once you once you put it on like she pretty much stays ish there for the most part um what else did they say about this foundation luminous said that natural finish long wearing medium coverage still weightless you don't feel it you really don't feel it on your face that's that's a very big pro there if you know you're not um, about that like heavy makeup feel on your face you really don't feel it on your face and yeah, that's pretty much all the claims that they make about this foundation. The only other thing to address is the shade. I really don't know. Like, part of me still kind of wants to see what 520 is looking like. Oh, we need to have a conversation about that. Okay, because I mentioned before, I went in store and they did not have the shades from 520 and down. Um, and then it launched today. I'm filming this Sunday. It launched today and the darker shades are also not online either. So it's like, okay, fun. Um, I do follow Norvina on Twitter and I saw people, you know, asking her about it. And I know I saw that she said that um, for the Ulta stores, I think she was talking about, maybe she was talking about online as well, that the darker shades shipped last week. So hopefully, you know, they're quick about getting them up in store or online. That stinks there. Cause you know, it's like, okay, cool. Like if I wanted to buy this, in store or online like even even when it's like a just online only type thing where the shades are available that's annoying but when it's not even online only available it's just not available but you know the shades exist it's just kind of like okay cool um so that's you know that's that on that there i do still kind of want to see what 520 looks like because i'm not sure if i mentioned this earlier in the video but when this launched i thought i would be a good you know 530 520 530 because 530 is the one that has a neutral undertone but you know i've worn 510 on my face i'll go ahead and insert a flash test right here and she's not looking you know she's not looking she's not looking that off to me at least from what i'm seeing right now looking at this screen she's not looking that off to me watch me be editing this and i'm like girl what are you talking about that was off off there um but i'm not mad at so if you use me as a shade reference that's where i would uh I would play around with the shades if you can find them in person is around um 505 30 somewhere in between there i you know if anything i'm thinking like maybe 510 is like a winter shade and you know now because i, I did mention I'm, I'm i'm at my full melanin potential right there you know maybe that's why it's throwing me off a little bit but i'm not mad at the shade she looks cute y'all gonna see this foundation again and again for someone who has oily skin and still likes this luminous foundation that's saying something like if you guys know me you know i go for that medium coverage your skin but better long wearing but kind of more on the soft matte ish type foundations and that's what this is giving me i think that's why i like it because i feel like if you really go in with this you know you go in with the right combination of primer powder oh the powder i'll get to that in a second um all that stuff that you can have a, a nice natural finish so you don't have to mattify everything on your face because then my face just dries out and it's just not for me there um and i think that's why i like this foundation now i did try the powder and i tried it in banana when i say there are two more shades after this 
yeah there are two more shades after this one i'm not mad at this at this powder all right it's it's again i mentioned before i didn't like banana powders in the past because they gave me like a yellowish like straight up yellow chalk type of feel and because this isn't that color i feel like you know it's it's a nice um baking e that's how i used it but not like crazy baking um type of powder so i like the powder i believe it said it was a mattifying uh powder it, it is a mattifying powder um you know kept my face pretty matte throughout the day given the conditions there i i want to see what the the darkest shade is looking like because like maybe that might be like a nice like all over type powder because you know again the, the areas that i use this powder you're holding up better than areas that i did not um but yeah also I'm, I'm also here for the powder as well and that is it for this video this foundation is most likely for you know dry to normal skin but if you have oily skin you can certainly make this foundation work and it won't even be that much effort to make it work i really don't feel like the foundations that have been in my rotation lately are even mattifying foundations. so maybe i'm saying that because i'm used to it you know like the the nars sheer glow the mented foundation sticks they're not you know the, the most mattifying of things but they're the ones i've been using recently so maybe that's why i'm just like oh okay this is just kind of like you know every other um foundation i've been using although this is certainly more you know dewy luminous foundation there um and like i said like the worst thing i can say is that it's got transfer about the foundation so there's you know not that many complaints as far as the formula of the foundation you know we we, we can have a conversation about these shades and their availability there abhk but um other than that i hope this video has helped if any of you think i'm checking this foundation out for yourself make sure to thumbs up comment and subscribe down below thank you all for watching i will see you in the next one bye